You're listening to the Culips English podcast. To download the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript, detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz, visit our website culips.com. C U L I P S dot com. Hey, everybody. My name is Andrew. And my name is Morag. And you're listening to Culips. Hey, Morag. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? I'm doing not too bad. How about yourself? I'm all right. Gearing up for a day at work pretty soon here. You know, exciting things. <laughs> Morag, you work in a creative field, don't you? I do. I uh, I write for a living. Um, yeah, a lot of it sort of creative, and some of it is um, marketing. Although that can be maybe creative too. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, that's great because today the topic of our chatterbox episode is creativity. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you will be able to speak with some expertise. That's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But before we get started in our discussion about creativity, I would like to let everybody know about the study guide for this episode. It's available now on our website, culips.com. So if you would like to study with the study guide, head on over to culips.com to give it a download. It includes the transcript for this episode, also some detailed vocabulary. Explanations and examples, a quiz, and also some prompts that you can use for conversation practice or writing practice. So, yeah, check out the website for the study guide. Okay, Morag, like creativity. Mm. Let's start with. A definition, and then this might be hard. Yeah, <laughs> even for English speakers to define. But if you could briefly and simply describe in your own words, now it sounds like a test question. It does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Creativity. What would you say? <laughs> I'll give this a shot. Um. So. Okay. I think that creativity is the skill or ability or. Facility、um, to make things that are new, to come up with ideas that are new and different,、um, mm -hmm. or to make art, which is this sort of the same thing because you know you don't just copy someone exactly when you're making、um, art or you're writing. Um, you have to create something from new. You have to create something that has never existed before to make it your own.、Totally. So it's that 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 ability to make those things or come up with those ideas. But there's a lot of different avenues that people can be creative in. So not just、mm -hmm. not just、uh, painting or writing. People also need to use their creativity to think new thoughts and creative thoughts in other areas as well.、Mm, very good definition. So maybe not so succinct. I'm though. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if I were to boil that down, then I guess I could just say that creativity is the skill to make something that didn't exist before, or to do something、mm -hmm. differently, think in a different way than previous. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you for the summary. <laughs> so I think it was an interesting distinction that you said just a moment ago about there being kind of two different types of creativity.、Mm -hmm. What immediately pops into my mind is the arts when I think of creativity,、mm -hmm. like painting or music. But there's also、mm -hmm. creativity like problem solving. Yep. Coming up with a more efficient way to. Do something. This is creativity too, right? No, I mean a lot of science can be very creative because they have to try to think of something new, something that a way that something might、um, be done in 
nature or in whatever Mm -hmm. um and and then test it so that's quite creative to come up with this idea of something that might be possible Mm -hmm. so would you consider yourself a creative person at at this point i would say yes because um other people consider me (laughs) to be a creative person (laughs) um I've done jobs where people will be like, oh, we need somebody creative. We need somebody who can, uh, you know, come up with the stuff. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I don't feel super creative. I write for a living, but I will spend a lot of time looking at a blank page, <laughs> not having any idea what I should put on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. I, I get that feeling a lot as well. And mm-hmm. yeah, actually... You know, one of the adjectives that I use to describe myself on my resume is creative. Um, Mm. So I kind of market myself as being creative, too. And I do think from time to time I have spurts of creativity kind of comes in Mm. waves for me. I don't know. I think a lot of the things that uh, people consider to be creative, Mm -hmm. those are things that uh, can or you, you need to learn how to do, you need to hone, mm-hmm. you know? So so nobody is born knowing how to paint. Right, right. You st- it's, there's still something you need to do, mm-hmm. something you need to learn before you can use all that creativity and paint. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, the creative things they've done have also been things that they've learned. Right, it's almost like a skill. Yeah, totally. I wouldn't be able to write if I didn't know how to write, how to write, you know, like the physical (laughs) things of writing and reading. And, Mm -hmm. you know, you could maybe be able to think up all the most amazing things in the world, but if you don't know how to put it down, that's a problem. So, but like, what are some of the creative things that you've done? Some of the creative projects I've done, for example. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, yeah, I think the way that I think of myself as being creative is musically because I've played Mm. music my whole life and have written a lot of songs so yeah in a way that's kind of cool right because it's really weird how it works writing a song Uh, you know you just 20 minutes previously you have nothing and then (laughs) an hour later you have something and you're like wow that's so weird like where did the idea come from um I don't know. But at the end of the day, you have this thing. You have a song where you didn't have the song earlier. And so it's kind of a mystery to me. Um, Hmm. I know some people, some songwriters, really work their craft, right? They're really Mm -hmm. sitting at the piano every day, pounding out a song, refining it. It's never how it's worked for me. It's not like I'm a great, amazing songwriter or anything, but songs just appear out of thin air. You're wow. Oh, you're walking around, or you're in the shower, and you have a melody in your head, and there's the song. So, I think uh, when I think of my own creativity, it's mostly based around music. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm. But uh, I'm I'm envious though, because uh, I always have to work for the ideas mm. and put out a, a lot of bad ideas <laughs> before I get to the good ones. <laughs> Well, actually, you know, that's a huge part of the process, too. For every song that I've written that I think is any good, there's a hundred that mm-hmm. I've thrown out because they've been terrible. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's also, I mean, that that's something to think about, too, is um, it's not just about being able to make all of these things, but also having the the judgment to know which ones are good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones to keep. Yeah. So what kind of creative things then do you do, Mark? Basically just write. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I loved playing music when I was younger, but I am like an anti-music, musically creative. Okay. <laughs> I am anti-musically creative. Yeah. I, um, I can only play music if it's sheet music written out in front of me. Uh, you're the opposite of me. Yeah. No, if you tell me to just make sounds, I will freak out and run away yeah it's so scary yeah (laughs) yeah but yeah i never really drew or anything like that and do yeah didn't do drawings or art um 
No, I just always um, put words on paper. I see. Well, yep. that's very cool. Now, mm -hmm. a big question around creativity is if some people are more creative than others or mm. if we are all born with the same amounts of creativity. And actually, in doing some preparation for this episode, I watched a YouTube video uh, with a speaker called Matthew Jarvis, and he's a designer and an instructor at uh, the Academy of Art University in San Francisco, California. I thought we could listen to a clip of him answering the question if some people are more creative than others. So why don't we take a listen to that clip now? But essentially what it is, it's a survival skill. It's a survival set of skills. And you would have a really difficult time not being creative. And that's one of the things that a lot of people, you know, when you, when you go to these creative workshops, everyone's like, how am I going to be more creative? How am I going to get better ideas and blah, blah, blah. But the, the, the truth of the matter is, is that you're already creative when you wake up in the morning. And your car is in the shop and your bike has a flat tire. How are you going to get to work? That's a creative challenge. Um, parenting is a creative challenge. Um, the idea that uh, there are some people who are creative and other people who aren't is, is, is false. Okay, Morag. So Matthew Jarvis seems to think that everybody is creative, right? He said that creativity is a set of survival skills. And if you aren't creative, you actually can't live. You won't have the knowledge to make it through your day. What do you think about this? Do you agree? I actually really like his definition of creativity because it's mm -hmm. mostly about problem solving and being mm -hmm. able to put two things together or make decisions on the fly. And um, mm -hmm. definitely what he was saying about how um, you would have a really difficult time not being creative <laughs> at least also even in my like creative work life a lot of it feels like I wouldn't have a job if I didn't do this <laughs> so I better mm. do it <laughs> you know, <laughs> right, you know? Right. <laughs> so I do you know and then it yeah. just it happens because it must um right <laughs> you know and at least I learned that with uh with university like writing papers and that sort of thing you have to do it mm -hmm you need right. to do it so do it you know <laughs> um and right, that's right. but but you also have to come up with something and so you you have to <laughs> and you do and that is a right. creative thing um so yeah figuring yeah. out i think getting dressed in the morning is a creative statement yeah definitely can be yeah it's for every person because you're either you're always making a statement about who you are how you want to be seen what your values are you know what i mean like you're always showing that even if you just look like you decide to dress like everyone around you or in a very, you know, you're still, you're still making decisions about the whole look of who you are, which just sounds very creative. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, maybe this is one of the reasons that I'm really drawn to the idea of a uniform. <laughs> 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 to take that that element of thinking about what I have to wear out of the equation of my morning routine. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sorry to uh, I'm sorry to bring you down on this one, but I uh, I had to wear a uniform for a lot of high school. What did you think about it? No, it doesn't stop that because everybody still wears mm. things slightly differently. Um, you know what I mean? Like you, it's impossible to have everyone perfectly pressed in exactly right. the same way all the time. And there's things like, um, you know, what shoes you choose and, uh, how you do or do not do your hair or, you know, what, if you're wearing glasses, you know what I mean? Like it, and then all of a sudden there just becomes a lot more emphasis on those mm -hmm. tiny little details. People always need to differentiate each other and themselves. To go back to Matthew Jarvis's statement, I think this is a really nice way to mm -hmm. think about creativity because we sort of have this idea that creative people are better than non-creative people. And it creates a hierarchy mm -hmm. in, in the society. Like we think creative jobs are better than manual labor jobs, for example. But what I like about this definition 
Um, and, and Matthew Jarvis's answer is that it levels the playing field. He's saying that everybody's creative. And I think that's, that's a nice way mm-hmm. to think about society. Yeah, and no, I think it's really cool. And I think it's, um, it sort of could be seen as an extension um, into adulthood of this sort of belief that we often have that like all children are inherently creative. Mm-hmm. Like all kids are crazy creative and coming up with ideas all the time and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and that you have that, you, you have that innately, but you stop doing that at a certain point. Most people. So it's, you know, Mm -hmm. um, but I like that Matthew Jarvis says that it's still actually going and you're still creative in everything, you know, that's really cool. Yeah. Those juices never stop flowing. All right, Morag, I think we should wrap things up here so that you're not late for work this morning. Oh, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody, I want to remind you about our website. It is culips.com, C-U-L-I-P-S.com. It's the place where you can listen to past episodes of Culips and also download the study guide for this episode. So when you get a moment, check out our website, culips.com. We would also love to hear from you guys. So if you want to drop us a line and uh, give us an idea for an episode, uh, send it our way. You have two options to do that. You can either contact us through our Facebook page, facebook.com slash podcast, or you can email us at contact at culips.com. That is it for us. We'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Do you like listening to Culips? If so, please show your support by leaving Culips a five star rating and a review on iTunes or Stitcher. This helps new listeners find the show. So don't delay, rate and review today. <laughs>